Hey guys, welcome back to Infinifactory, the resistance campaign. Oh my god, this terrestrial surveyor. I have been messing with this thing forever. I was recording it like 45 minutes of video here of me messing around with this stupid thing. And, uh, oh god. It's just shoot me, right? Um, we're gonna, we're gonna try this again. I'm gonna ditch everything that I've already done and uh, we're gonna try this again. But let's look at this craziness. Anyway, we have broken into the Overlord's crazy uh, factory over here, slaughtered some frogs, uh, we got guys standing around with guns. It, this thing, right? So we have a terrestrial surveyor here ready to ready to roll off the line and get disassembled over, over in here. And um, I messed around with how to disassemble it. I had it going pretty good and it was coming through in, in a way that, that was reasonable, like the, the tank treads were coming through. The body was coming through um, a little bit disjointed, but I had it figured out. So if we come over here and I run the thing, we can we can sort of see how it works. So if we run it, we're going to get tank treads first. These two front uh, six blocks here are going to be tank treads. Great, they get welded, and things go things go their separate ways. So at the same time, we get three of the body blocks. We get another body block right here, which is sort of just floating there waiting for some more stuff to come along. And then we get the head. So I've, t I've taken all that and we put it together. Tank treads come in, the body comes over, gets lifted up, dropped into place. Notice the head is on it. Um, we got the head turned uh, the right way. Yeah, the right way. But let's keep a watch on it. Check out what happens here. Notice that tank tread right there. Uh-oh, something happened. And what happened is on the other side. The um, the thing is... Let's, uh, yeah, product error. Let's restart this thing, and I'll show you, show you what's going to happen here. So, we'll clear it. Uh, I did all kinds of stuff to try to delay it. I got a little sensor here that goes back to a, to a stopper block thing. I had to put a thing on here to get it to let the first one through. And then I made another one to make the second one go through. What I'm trying to avoid is at some point... Okay, so he's coming through. He's just sitting there. He's waiting for the next one. That's going to roll on up. And when it gets up there, it'll let the next one through. See, now this one has appeared. It comes through. It lets that one go through. Okay, fine. Spacing's still okay. But here comes the problem. Watch this. Suddenly, another one just appears. And so we end up with two right next to each other. So this one doesn't have time to get all of its tracks taken off before the other guy comes. So now, he's going to run through, and then so is that guy, right? So now, on the other side, I'm expecting pieces, and I'm not getting them in the right order. So I need to reset how I'm doing things, and it may involve a complete readjustment on the other side as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this whole thing out and try again taking this thing apart and, um, and watch it all the way through. Problem is I only watched it disassemble a few, right? So there's a little uh, object lesson in making sure that you go ahead and run your solution fully to make sure this stuff's happening and when you're doing this teleporter business you better do it on the disassembly side before you go and try to build the solution and put it back together because we're expecting these parts in a certain order and once they're not coming in that order you get kind of messed up so anyway let me uh, i'm going to stop the video now and i'm going to go and try to fix this side and see what we can get to okay guys i think i've convinced myself that this works so we're bringing it over on conveyors, uh, space as much as they can be. We slide it over, we get the first set of tracks off, we bring it over, last set of tracks off, and then run the rest of it in. So, key piece of information here, we're going to get tracks first, and then we're going to get three body blocks, the head block, and the final body block. So that's the important thing to remember as we try to rework this machine here. So the way this is set up right now is it takes the last three blocks and tries to make those into the solid body piece. So we can't do that anymore. Now we're going to have to take the first three blocks and make that into the solid body piece. So 
I'm gonna have to get rid of this contraption here, which is designed to get the head piece into place. So let's just remove these things here for now. And we'll rework that bit later. And then we're also going to have to get rid of, let's see. So we're gonna want this first three blocks to be our body getter. All right, so we're gonna need one of, well, we don't really need that there, but that's all right, won't hurt anything. We're gonna grab one of these and put them there. And then we don't need that pusher block there anymore. This is where the tracks are done, so it's gonna stay the same. So those, those come out first, so that's no problem. And then we need to put those there. Okay, so there's that. And we're going to need to weld it, which presents a little bit of a problem in that we've got to stick welders right here. So welder, welder, welder. And then I'm gonna to have to pop over the top here with uh, conduit to connect those. Okay, so this piece here should be the head piece and this piece here should be the body piece. We no longer need that. That was lifting the body piece up on top. We don't need this, which was a weird delay that I put in. We do need it to come out this far, I think. Although it looks to me like it could be slid in one. All of these can be, say, we can save some belts on these. So uh, you guys can't remind me, but remind me to fix that. Um, so what are we going to do here? Well, what happens if we bring these in? One. I don't see any problem doing it. we got to wait for the body piece anyway. It gets welded right there. So let's go ahead and save ourselves some time by doing that. We can put in just one track right there. You point in the right direction you are. So there's that. And then we can do the same right here. Let's save us a couple cycles, I guess. So these tank tracks just come and slide right into here. And then they wait on this to fall in on them. Um, so that's settled. This whole thing can come over now. Let's do that. So we're going to grab that, do this with it, grab that, do that with it, get rid of those, get rid of that whole stack there, grab that, oh, no, come up, <laughs> okay, fine, do that, delete that, grab that, and come from here instead. Delete that whole mess there and do that. Okay, so now we've got it going. So where are we going to put these guys? The body is going to need to come up and get on top of the, the one block is going to need to get on top of this. And we're going to have to... We can push these the same direction. There's no reason we can't. And just because we can, let's save these blocks here. I know it doesn't matter, but that's okay. Okay, so now we're gonna push the top body block, level two, off there. We're gonna push the head off here. And we just have to figure out how to get one on top of these guys, and probably easier to weld them together separately and then put them on top. So how could we do that? Well, if we put a... If we put a levitator here, Grab a block there. Can we turn these with a C? Yeah, we can. Okay, cool. So, do that with it. 
Only problem is we're going to end up uh, getting there before we have this block underneath it. So we need to put this block underneath it quickly. How will we do that? I wish it was reversed, actually. It would be a lot easier. Hmm. Well, let me play with that. Um, but the goal is to get the this block underneath that block and weld it together at the same time and then have them going down the line. So let me pause and I'll work on them. Okay, seem to have had some success here. Okay, uh, one, one change, by the way. I had put these welders right here, and that didn't work because it was just basically welding everything that came through in a long stick. So I moved those out of line, just like I had these, and now that works fine. What I've got here is uh, two conveyors going straight forward. One puts the body block on that base right there. The other one brings the head block over here, levitates it, slides it over with that conveyor, and welds them together. And when that happens, this sensor trips, that pusher block pushes it out onto here. So let's see that in action. And they're going to look at the head rotation, see if it's going the right direction. So here come our parts. Pause. We've got our tank parts over here, tank tracks over here. We've got our main body over here. We're going to want to stop that so we can get this on top of it. And now we have the head with the eye facing that direction. And the little gray bit back here. And that is the same orientation we've got over here. So we don't have to rotate it, which is actually really good. So what I'm thinking is we stop this block right around in here somewhere and lift this guy up on top of it. We have a pusher block that withdraws when this is tripping the sensor. So, um, yeah, time to do that. I'll be back in a second. Well, hold on. We, we can probably do some of that on camera. I, I'm, I'm thinking that I'm super over time because of how badly the last one went. So if we take this guy and we put him on this, so he's going to sit right here, and then he's going to have a blocker block right there. And then we're going to have to lift this up and slip it into there. So, but we're also going to need to, so the sensor we're going to want is right here. One, two, one, two, three. Yeah, we're going to want a sensor block right there looking for the head. So what we need is for the thing to get down here without tripping this sensor. And then let's see, I've already got that supported, so I can just do this. Don't need that there. Okay, um, how are we going to do it? How are we going to do it? It's only one wide. We can just bring it right off of here. Put a lifter block right there. It's too tall. We needed to get one up from there. So if we do that... That would be one block, two blocks, and an extra block to get it on top. So let's do upside down conveyor belt right there. And then we're going to want that to continue forward. How far do we want it to continue forward? Further than we can get it to go here because of that. Yeah, we can't, uh, we can't actually do it that way, can we? Well, I can have it go one more up and put it onto just a regular conveyor block. Let's do that. One, two, here. Let's just put it all the way up to here. You gotta go upside down. And then we drop it onto a regular conveyor block right here. And how do we get it to go all the way forward? I think it will be all the way forward, actually. It'll run all the way out to here. Oh no, it's only two, okay, it's only uh, one wide, so let's remember that. Let's remember that. I'm not entirely sure this sensor's going to work. I think we may end up breaking it. Let's try it. Let's see what happens here. 
I'm afraid it's going to let the body go before we get that welded on. No, it uh, it seems to have worked. Okay. So we need a welder at the bottom here, like that. And that should weld it on. Okay, let's try again. I do wish there was like a fast, fast forward mode. Okay. See what happens. Beautiful. Okay, except for that. Except for that. <laughs> okay, we're gonna need a block right here to keep it from getting slid over. Okay. Let's try this again. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Comes over. Something didn't work. Something didn't work. The tank didn't go. Because the tank tread couldn't move because it has uh, to come out here. Okay. What if we put it right there? That should keep it from sliding the thing over here. Screw footprint. That should let the tank tread through, I think. Okay, slides in, gets welded, and goes forward. Beautiful. Okay, so now all we need to do is get it into place, and I think that involves just a... Let's grab it over here. We need to bring it over one. And forward like that. Will that get it? Let's see. Comes everything. Middle comes in. Gets dropped. Lit through. And it did not slide to the left. Why did it not slide to the left? Okay. Um, sometimes, man, this game... Okay, let's see. Let's do it this way then. No. Let's do it this way. And instead, we'll have it be taken over right here by a block and slid in there. Okay. Now, can you do it? <laughs> I think this is going to work. I really do. Yeah, slide. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to let it run. We don't have an optimal footprint, but I'm going to let it run. But while it's going, let's look at this over here. I used a pusher block to slide these into place and then pull them back so that uh, so that we can weld across the front and not have a problem with it. There really wasn't a good way to weld across the back. So that's kind of a neat little tool to be able to do. And let's let it run all the way through super fast. See if, there's a, if it breaks. It may. Footprint score is crazy bad. Oh! Actually, block score is better than average. Footprint score is on the high side of average. And cycle score is dead average. So I am going to take that as a win and let it go. Man, that first one was just a pain in the butt. Let's take a look at this next one here. I don't want to go too long with this uh, session, so we probably won't solve it, but we'll take a look at it. Oh. Goodness. I notice we're getting more guards around. Are you do we know you got oh that's Dave. It'd be nice to have some of those anti-missile satellites and someone, I'm not gonna mention any names, built so many missiles for the toast. Dude. <laughs> wow. You didn't even hold back. I did. They're scientists, not fighters, so they're kinda like me. Squishy? That's not how I would put it. Okay. We did too good, apparently. So we got three of these little gadgets in the front, three of these little gadgets in the back, and two guns, which appear to be made out of two different kinds of pieces. So we have four different kinds of pieces over there. That'll be an interesting puzzle. And uh, basically the same layout over here as we had before. So how do we do it? Um, I think much the same way as the tank. I think we bring it forward. Although, we might do something cheaty here. Well, not cheaty, but um, interesting here to save footprint. 
So really the only bottom piece are these two right here, but these are five wide. So we could have it come forward on its little bottom there. Or let's just do it. So those are two wide. So we could skip like that. And we're gonna need one at the edge, but let's just put a block and a conveyor there. And then what we could do, I think, is on either side of this, we could just pick it up far are we going to get to? We're going to get to this last block here. So one, two, three, four, five. We ought to be able to pick it up about here. Right? We need it to fall or do we? We may not need it to fall actually. Oh no, hold on. That's too high. I'm curious. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we can save by going, we can we can skip every four like this. Oh, okay. I guess I got to be lower to actually draw like that. There we go. Oh, up. One, two, three, four. I, I'm not sure if we can skip more than that or not. Two, three, four. Yeah, it can't be more than four if the thing is five wide. That one's only three. So we need that there. Let's up, up. One, two, three, four. And up there. Let's see if this works, because that's pretty cool. And if we have to boost it later, we can spend a block, but we saved a ton of footprint that way. And I don't always think about footprint, but when I remember it, I do try to do a, I do try to do a good job. So where are we lined up? We're lined up right in the middle. So we're gonna want to take it to the side over here. I'll tell you what, we got a couple minutes here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually am going to work on the assembly, or the disassembly of this thing on camera here. So that's gonna take us over to the middle, or will it? It may not actually because. You know what? I don't think it will because we've got that two wide body in there. I think we may have to take it over here. Like that. Let's see if that works. Will you. Yeah, okay. That does work, but now it won't go forward, will it? No, it won't go forward because we have that block there. So that's not going to work. Um. Hmm. Oh, that may require some interesting, uh, interesting innovations. I may have to put like a levitator block and do a conveyor belt on top. Or we might just have to take the middle out first. It's possible, actually. I guess that will require a little more playing uh, than I want to do at the moment. So I will, I think, let you guys go and talk to you later. Okay, so thanks very much for joining me for Infinite Factory, and um, we got quite a few more puzzles to go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do these quickly. Talk to you soon. Bye.